this handle allows for the teeth to engage and disengage. If you have it down, it will automatically, when you go into the core, engage. And when you want to release, you pull it up and turn it 90 degrees and that will lock it so you can take the core out of the roll. This is an adjustment if for the different roll widths. You will need to pull the pin out and then you slide the expander forward to the next hole, put the pin back in, and put the cotter pin in, and that will get you for the different roll widths. To rotate the roll 90 degrees, you have a lock here on the red handle. So you just pull up on the red handle and allow the unit to rotate around 90 degrees and it will lock back into position. So when you want to rotate it back again, just pull up the red handle and rotate it back up to lock it into position. Six casters on the Voyager, there's a 15 degree plus or minus angle adjustment. So you can pull up that pin and you can swing the expander back and forth so you can find the core. And then as soon as you, you can let go of the knob, and as soon as you hit the middle, it will lock back into position to keep it nice and straight. You take it in, take the unit into the core, lower it into position. The teeth will automatically engage with the up button. You gotta hold the roll, raise it up to the desired height, take it away from the pallet. Pull up on the red handle. The roll will automatically start to rotate. See if, how smooth it is. Take it down to the horizontal position. The handle will automatically lock so you don't have to hold it the whole time. Take it down to the floor. the black handle, pull up on the black handle, and turn it 90 degrees to lock it in position, and just take the Voyager out of the fork.